Hey, how you guys doing? I beg Lex. So the Chinese IS-2, which is pretty cool. I actually put it on the Great Wall map so you guys could see the, you know, cool Great Wall, which is cool. So uh, I don't want to make this a really long video. It is a good game, but uh, let's go ahead and just go straight into the armor with Steve, the armor guy. Hi, thanks, Fabio. Uh, so yeah, I'm Steve, and we're gonna be going over the armor. Um, so this actually has less armor than the IS and the IS-2 Russian. So this is the Chinese IS-2 which basically has 90 millimeters of armor on the front here. But it does have the equivalent of about the same as the, uh, the stock one. As you can see here, we get a little bit less armor because it's only 80 millimeters. Let's actually check that. 90 millimeters is what it says it is. It might actually be beefed up, but I will say that this thing is very bouncy. Uh, we don't have the upgraded turret yet, as you can see. It's a tier 6 turret. One of the most amazing things about this tank, like just even stock like this, is able to take on tier 9s. And the main reason why is that it comes with heat rounds, which can pin uh, what was it, 250 penetration. Standard is the, uh, was it, uh, standard is 175, and HE is, you know, uh, 61, so you got basically everything. The, uh, the heat shells make this thing incredibly, uh, you know, I'll just say unskilled to use, um, and of course you can see here that the, it's got the same turret. Now, even with the upgraded turret, you just get a slightly different gun on this turret, but it's, it's pretty much exactly the same amount of millimeters and everything. I, I really didn't see any differences in this uh, particular tank, other than the fact that you do eventually get this 120 uh, millimeter D25T, which still comes with heat rounds. It has the exact same dimensions and everything as the original. So the Poe, Poe round, does 250, uh, and then this one does 175. So there's no real real difference other than once you get your second upgrade, you pretty much have this one. The reload times do vary. We're going to look at it fully upgraded on this one now so that there's no confusion. Confusion. <laughs> no confusion. No confusion. So 390 damage was what we do. Um, and with possible 530, you can do it with high explosives. Uh, rounds per minute. <coughs> reload stock in-game. Velocity of the shell velocity is very low, which means it does arc quite heavily. I have noticed that the, the accuracy of this is pretty poor. So it's 0.41. Uh, so we, we learned from our last video that 0.441 is actually 0.41. I don't actually know how that works out, but it is actually, you know, that accurate, which is weird. Um, so to keep on going, uh, the speed is 37, so a little bit faster than the uh, Russian IS-2. Um, but the power ratio is different. It's not quite as high. It's 15 on the IS-2. Uh, this one's not as quite, quite as high, but it is faster. Uh, when you get it fully upgraded, it should be really quick. So we're talking 37 all the time. Um, 1,280 hit points. Uh, you have 90 on the front, 90 uh, on the sides, uh, 100 on the turret, 90 on the side of the turret, and 20 for the tracks, which uh, would also give us 45 for the gun and then 12% chance of fire, which is uh, pretty good. Let's go ahead and check out the view range, which is the standard 350. And I think even with the other, the early, it is almost exactly the same. There's really no difference in the, as you can see, you just get more um, hit points is all. More hit points. Yeah. So that gun, let's see if there's any difference. It is the reload. Let's actually check that again. So you would get uh, basically uh, 200, you, you get basically get one more shot off. Um, yeah, one, 1. 1.63 rounds. So the, the last upgrade will, will basically give you a better reload. So let's actually see that. Yeah. So 11 seconds. So pretty much a really good tank. Anyway, uh, back to you, Ivy Echo. All right. Thanks, Steve. So yeah, here we are on Ghost Town. And, you know, amazingly, just going to tell you amazingly, uh, well, sorry about the background noise. My last three videos, uh, if you guys don't know, it's going to be like 40 Celsius, which is like 110 this week. So my air conditioner, you know, it's it's only about three feet from my microphone. Well, well, it's about eight feet, you know. And if I ran air conditioning in my whole house, I'd end up uh, probably just paying for air conditioning and I wouldn't even have uh, internet. <laughs> so, yeah. So Ghost Town is, is a... It's a a new map um, I've been getting kind of used to it because it has uh, basically like obvious uh, flanking positions which if you look at the map it's like a diamond um, and it has like four four or five different places you can go to and there's pretty much a corner you can side scrape on anywhere you are on the map the worst places you can go are in uh, C7 um, or H um, H4. Those places seem to be okay, but people flank can flank behind you, and then you got nowhere to go. You got people in front of you, you got people behind you. So if you got people all on that side, that's great. So I haven't spawned on this side yet, and like uh, we've we've actually talked about, you know, heat rounds on this. Being able to pin with a tier si uh, tier seven, 250 millimeters of armor pretty much means I can pin. Um, 
more millimeters than the IS-6, which is actually crazy. I'm actually thinking to myself that they're probably going to nerf this tank. I, I should I should check it out on the PC, the actual stats. I mean, but but it's the same. They basically take the the armor away and they give you this you know heat round, which I don't think justifies you know having ten less armor. Uh, does not justify uh, was it uh, something like fifty more pin? So you get two hundred and seventeen with the IS two, and with the IS, and then with the IS six, you get uh, two uh, two hundred and seventeen penetration with an APCR round. I actually was going to say to my myself that the IS six should have heat rounds, and maybe they should just cost a little bit more because I'm going to go ahead and say that. Um, yeah, I'm. I was kind of disappointed when I seen that they took. It used to be 237 about a month ago, and then they did the uh, 0.03 or I think it's 3.0 update. Now you guys can see I'm just nonchalantly cruising into like the kill zone in a tier nine room, and the reason why is that I know that I can pin these guys. Uh, for instance, yeah, I don't know if you see me just bounce. That's a 200 and. Uh, 25 millimeter pin that I just bounced now. I do believe he went for my turret but Who knows you know RNG is it can be bad sometimes, but uh, yeah I automatically switched to the heat rounds so the, the main reason why is that the motherlands I can't pin of course we got you know the one tank that gives the gives me the side that doesn't really matter just kind of funny I think it's hilarious. Some people think I'm the premium IS-2 and they don't realize the power, you know, of this tank. Um, you know, this motherland, I don't even know what he's doing. Seriously, he's got, you know, he doesn't have the best armor, but you see here, I, uh, I track him somehow. Uh, that was actually, uh, I would say, an amazing shot. Uh, I don't know, Ho, Ch Ho Chi Man maybe? Is that, is that his Ho Chi Man? Ho Chi Man was guiding that round. <clears throat> Confucius say heat round make boom boom <laughs> uh, that'll probably piss some people off if I yeah it's not meant to be a uh, stereotypical or racist so nail this guy 411 it's one of the things that I really love about heat rounds is the fact that how much they can pin now I have this tank the STI you guys probably see my video I did on it so I know, you know, I know where exactly to shoot it. Um, yeah. See here that he's not really minding me until I hit him. And then he's like, what the heck? I could have pinned him with APCR as well, though. It's only, I think it's 180 millimeters uh, flat, which he, he gave me. Um, so, yeah, but pinning those guys, uh, you know, higher tiers being pinned with, with these heat rounds is what it's actually meant for. Um pinning lower tiers would kind of defeat the, the purpose of it but I will say that I, I myself think that uh, you know well I'm gonna go ahead and say that this whole balancing thing that they're doing to me seems like they're gonna wreck the game I actually seen a guy the other day uh, this is a perfect example of side scraping working when it probably shouldn't you know I mean side scraping shouldn't actually work here in this particular location but I have the range, so I mean, I guess that's okay. But I've uh, been listening to some YouTubers uh, recently, and they've been basically screaming at the fact that, you know, uh, of what, you know, what Wargaming's planning on doing, which is they're planning on, you know, balancing out the entire game, basically. It's, they're going to make it so that it's quite obvious. Well, I, it seems to me like they're going to take the skill uh, level off of it. Uh, meaning like, you know, you know, you're not going to need to know how many tanks, you know, uh, or what kind of armor the tanks have. Everybody, every tank's going to have it, you know, almost an equality to it, which kind of wouldn't make any sense to, you know, some of the reasons why I went down the German lines, because I knew the Tiger too had such good armor, you know, it has really good armor, but on the PC, it has bad armor and it's been nerfed so bad that it's almost I'm gonna say it's almost not fun yeah it could be used you know if I was a pro it would be no problem but on Xbox one you know uh, it's a noob tank meaning like a lot of noobs people that aren't very good with it really like it because it gives them a lot of freedom to 
explore, you know, uh, different parts of the map that you might never want to go into. It's got a lot of room for mistakes because it's so heavily armored. Unfortunately, on the PC, you know, when when uh, you know the the effective armor on that is not quite as effective on PC as it is on on this. I think it's funny when I have the heat run. I just don't, it doesn't matter where I shoot him really. It's just gonna pin him. That was my last heat round. You can see I'm just uh, basically kind of side scraping, um, you know, not giving anybody, trying not to give anybody my front plate, but it is such a wrap on this game. Um, obviously one kill. I will say that me and Burndog Guy were playing and this thing just absolutely devastates with these heat rounds. Um, I actually can't wait to get it fully upgraded and I kind of wish, I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that I know that the heat rounds were available, <clears throat> you know, pretty much in 1950, you know, and even in late, you know, the late, uh, 44, you know, 1944, uh, which, you know, could have been converted over at any year if, if they wanted to, or if it was available, it would have been a round that would have been used. They have the heat rounds on the 105, you know, so kind of makes no sense, but... Yeah, I got a confederate on that. Look at how much damage I did. 31, 60, and I did 21. And I fired all eight of my heat rounds. Pretty amazing game, I thought, you know. Um, yeah, top of the board in a tier 9 lobby. What is going on in here, son? <laughs> that is crazy. Look at that. I pretty much got a piece of everybody. There wasn't one tank in there that I was afraid of. And that is a... I'm going to say that I rated this at 4. But it's because I don't want them to nerf it. I'm not going to be like, oh, get the, the IS-2 is amazing. I will say for Tier 7, I'm going to say that it is probably rated Tier 6. I do believe with those heat rounds, you could take out a, uh, uh, was it? It, it, it's basically the underdog. Most Chinese tanks are like, they come out of nowhere. People look at them and just go, ah, you know, they've got no armor on them. But they got that gun on them. You know, they got that gun and they got that, that uh, extra penetration. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And have a good one. Later.